I have a little something interesting. This is some bonus material for Parasite Eve 2, if effectively. Um, I have a tool that lets me extract the FMV files from PS1 discs. And I found a couple interesting things uh, through doing that. Uh, first of all, I feel I need to explain something, though. Um, there's a neat thing that Square did with a couple of their RPGs around this time, and as for a case of example, uh, I have a couple of scenes from Final Fantasy IX. This is a little thing that is happens in an area that you're actually standing in. You should be seeing the character models there, and then, you know, that movie happens and then it just turns back into the static background. You notice there were no character models there. There's another thing here, like, this is a whole scene where you're supposed to see the character running from the vines and everything. So apparently, uh, Square did this in a couple instances where they have a whole, like, movie cutscene that the character model was just placed on top of, you know, like, green screened in, and they just repositioned and, like, shrank or expanded the model as necessary to look like it was naturally part of the scene. I bring this up because Parasite Eve 2 did the same thing. That's apparently how they achieved the effect of the moving, like, camera angle at the Acropolis Tower, is it's just... It just plays an FMV when you're moving around. Which I thought was pretty interesting. There's like a bunch of these that I found when I was combing through the disc. Just various camera movements and stuff. I thought that was pretty neat. It's like these were all movies that we saw play out with Aya and like the police and everything, but in this case she's just not there. Uh, this I don't know what this is. This might be a camera feed. And of course, the fountain was also a movie scene. Apparently, that's like how they did that. There's a couple other things that are uh, that I've surprised are movie scenes too. Like uh, even just like when you raise the the bridge up at the Acropolis Tower, uh, the bri the bridge raising up is also a movie scene. I guess some of the stuff is just things that they couldn't figure out how to like animate in engine. Like maybe they couldn't do it, or it would have been like too hard or whatever, like it was easier to just just stick a movie scene in there. The elevator you ride down deeper into the uh, evil laboratory was also a movie scene. And uh, when you unlock the gate, that also apparently was a movie scene. But uh, the one particular thing that I was really surprised about uh, Actually, a couple things I was surprised about. Both discs, they're kind of in surprisingly inefficient because, like, with the first Parasite Eve, um, the opening scene, the opening movie, was only on the first disc, not on the second. But for Parasite Eve 2, the opening movie was on both discs because I guess they just had the room to spare. But not only that, a, a weird thing is that a couple of the final scenes of disc 1, uh, chief, basically the nighttime movies, like when, when uh, Kyle stumbles upon the sleeping Aya, or when, like, the giant monster with the flamethrower mouth comes in and everything. Those are on both discs, even though it only happens on the first disc. And, uh, one other thing that's on both discs. And, uh, there's no sound for it, so I'm gonna just play some music. We seem to have some kind of, like, early concept for a possible scene, maybe, that just didn't end up getting further developed and got scrapped. I'm surprised that this got left on here, because it's kind of a lengthy movie file, too, and it's just it's just sitting there on both discs.
and then it just loops. And yeah, it it actually repeats a whole it, it, go, it plays a whole second time. Like that's that's the file that they left on the disc. That seems like a pretty big waste of space for a CD. Anyway, that's your Parasite Eve 2 bonus footage.